welcome to Crafty Penguin and welcome to this unboxing video. So, um, you might well know if you've been following me for a little while that I've been having a few problems with my mug press. This is my mug press and it's caused me all sorts of problems recently in that it's burnt my mugs, it's got too hot, the print's not coming off right. Then, the next thing that happened was this one. So this is my friend's mugs press. There's nothing actually wrong with this. Um, but she lent it me for a little while to tide me over. Um, and I need to return that to my friend at some point as well. So, what's arrived today is this massive box. which is a brand new heat press. Yay! I have had a sneak peek inside um, because I was super excited when it arrived earlier um, but I couldn't film earlier um, because it arrived during the day and I was working. So let's unbox it and let's see what it's like and let's have a go at making a mug maybe or two because it's actually a double mug press so I'm super excited. This is it the brand new mug press and hopefully the issues with my mugs and their printing will be over. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got what it is. So we've got some instructions. This is interesting. Lots in a foreign language. But there are a few English bits along the way, so hopefully that will help me get it all sorted. Keep that safe. And the actual press is in here, so let's try and get it out. Give it a jiggle. There we go. Okay, let's put the box over there out of the way. Give us a bit of space. So we've got the power cable, that's there, that's the power cable, nice and straightforward. Let's remove this polystyrene, ooh something fell out, what's that? Qualified certificate, yep I know exactly what that says, just in case you were wondering, no idea. Ooh. Okay. over it and now we have the mid clips oh yeah oh wow this is all sparkly and shiny and new how good is this look at that so I can print if I want two mugs at a time now hopefully on this press how exciting is this okay so you can see it, there it is in all its glory and do you know what, it's not actually that heavy, it's actually really light compared to my old one, which I'm really surprised about. So I'm going to pop it down there, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it all up and get ready and see if we can try and print a mug. <laughs> this is a really weird camera angle, so I've printed off um, a couple of my mug designs. So here they are. I've actually updated them with my new logo, although quite a lot of my mugs have still got my old logo on. Uh, I'm going to cut them out and then use this heat tape to add them to the mug and then we're going to try it. So let's get them cut out. Right, so that's the two designs cut out and they're in reverse because when you sublimate they have to be the opposite way around so they're the right way around of the mug. So they're good. Let's grab a mug. There we go. And I need some tape. I also have 
these little bits of card which are looking a bit it's looking a bit scraggy um, I need to make a new one but they're like a little template so it enables me to put it over the handle and just tape it down and it allows me to just sort of measure where the image is going uh, which is really useful I'll just grab a little bit of tape from the side just something to hold it in place well because I don't put that in the press I'll take it off it's just to hold it in place while I put the design on so some scissors let's get some heat tape and start to stick it on the edges here goes nothing Some more tape on it just to make sure that the image is securely fastened. Right, okay, so that's got the tape on and it's done. And I'm just looking at my notice board. So I normally do my mugs at 200 degrees for 180 seconds according to my notice board. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the floor away from the desk and have a look at the press and see if we can uh, get a successful mug. So I'm watching a YouTube video because it's really complicated. So there I'll click the right button with the flame on it, the red button, and that will start to heat up the mug wrap on the right hand side of the press. Okay, so I'm going to put the mug in. It's supposed to be at the resting temperature, which is not what I thought I said it'd do, but anyhow. Um, I'll try it. Put the mug in. On this side, because this side I've heated up. And then he said to press the timing button. Okay. Let's see what happens next. This little number here, which is obviously your second, starts to flash. What will happen then is it will heat up the mug to the uh, desired temperature and then it will start to count down that um, timer. And that's it really, it's it is simple start as again. Use it. Um, it's absolutely brilliant results. Because I'm not going to start it right. I'm going to um, I'm gonna press two mugs at the same time as uh, press. So keep your eye out for that and you'll, you'll see. I the set it up, results. so I click yeah. left. All right, um, that's everything for today. I hope you found it useful. It's um, beeping because it's already been on. Found on the website at www.dicebooksupplies.co.uk. Um, if you've got any questions about them, get in the comments timing. below. Um, on of any of our social media channels, or you can email me direct at da adam at dicebooksupplies.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's where you'll find all the other videos that we've uh, done previously. Okay, so I think I've figured it out after watching the YouTube video. Basically, I had to set the preheat temperature, which I'd done, which I think was at 170. Then put the mug in, and now it's heated it up to 200. Once it got to 200, it started counting down the seconds there, which I didn't understand why it wasn't counting down before, but it didn't start counting down until it hit 200. And the time at the bottom is just like including the preheat time and the, the mug press time. So we've got 118 seconds left to see if this mug turns out any good. So far the instructions for this have not been easy to understand from what's written in here. They're just so vague and they don't really describe it very well at all. So although when I first took the, the press out of the box I was really impressed with it, it looks really sturdy even though it's quite light, which is not what I expected, I expected it to be a lot heavier, the instructions are not helpful at all. And we still have 35 seconds to see if we can get a mug. So this one I did without really setting any of the temperatures, which is probably as good as my old press was, to be honest. <laughs> so hopefully this one will come out a lot better and I'll be really impressed. Um, 
but who knows, we might have to make another mug and try again. Um, yeah, <laughs> mug printing is not always that easy, especially when you start and trying to get the settings right. It's always difficult. So we've got five seconds. Three, two, one. So now it beats. So it's taken three minutes 55 in total to do the mug it reckons. Now to me, I think that's got too hot, it looks burnt. So I think I might need to turn the temperature down. But um, I'll soon be able to see. Although, it might not actually be burnt. I think it's just really, really hot, but that's why well, you're supposed to let them cool first, but I'm just super keen to see what it looks like. Actually, it's not too bad. That's what it looks like. So I'll maybe try one more. I'm going to turn it off for a little while because it's really hot in here. I'm going to have uh, plenty of mugs to use in the office. <laughs> um, trying them out, but I think if I turn it down to 180 for 180 seconds that might actually be better. Okay, so I've printed off another design. I'm just going to attach it to the mug. Um, I think I've set up the temperature and everything right now. Um, I've turned it down to 180 degrees for 180 seconds. Right, okay, so as far as I know now, if I try to do the left one, turn on left, it should heat up and then it should beep at me when it wants me to put the mug in now. It should be at 110 degrees. It's warming up quite quickly, it's nearly there. Okay, so it's got to the preheat temperature, so that's 110 degrees, so I'll put my mug in. And push it down and then hold down the timer until it starts to flash and it's going to heat up to 180 degrees and then once it gets to 180 degrees it should be the temperature to cook the mug for 180 seconds we'll see how it goes <laughs> scary obviously once I've cracked it sometime soon um, I'll be able to do two mugs at once, but obviously at the minute I haven't got that side going because I'm just testing so there's no point in having two mugs. So these are the two mugs that I've printed so far. There you go, you can see them. There you go, it's upside down. I ain't got ski and penguin on that one. The logo on the back. There you go, there's a snowboarding one. one on the back. So my old press was like burning everything. So everything was going kind of yellow. Um, this is looking a little bit better. Because with my old press you didn't like preheat it. You just put it in and it went for 180 seconds and that was it. So now it's 180. The 180 second temperature is going to count down. So we've got 180 seconds to find out if it's going to work. Okay, so that's just under 10 seconds. In fact, now there's five, and we'll see what this mug looks like. There we go, it's done. So it's taking five and a half minutes in total, it reckons. And it's beeped at me. Let's have a little look. Oh. So, I'm going to turn it off, because it's making a horrible beeping noise. But... It's actually loads better. I don't know if you can see. So the blacks have come out a lot better. And if I turn it around, it's not as blurry in the back. There you go, you can see the back. So 
you can sort of see the difference between the two so this one this one here that I'm wiggling was a little bit overcooked as I tried to figure it out now I've got the temperature right look at it it actually looks really good so looks like the press is going to work all right so 180 degrees for 180 seconds gives me a really good finish on my mug um, which I'm really pleased about and it's only taking me three mugs to figure it out so that's not too bad um, like I say I like I actually like the press I think it's good it's not too heavy so I can move it around it actually works really well like the quality of the prints fantastic much better than my old one the only thing I didn't like was this really annoying instructions that just didn't tell you anything so having watched a video on YouTube so much easier um, so if you're thinking about ever getting one I think the quality of the print from what I can find from the unboxing today is really good um, but like I say yeah the instructions are shocking get on YouTube and look it up and the YouTube videos are really good so uh, we'll leave it there for now um, so I'm quite happy that my mugs are a success and I can carry on making my mugs again now with my new mug press happy days here's a big smile because I'm super happy so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video I hope you've learned something about the press and uh, I certainly have in this short like hour or so that I've uh, been uh, putting this film together um, so yeah if you've enjoyed it please subscribe please like the video below give it a subscribe and uh, tune in for more videos soon thank you so much for watching bye bye